Namaste. Let's begin where it all begins with breath. You can be seated or you can be supine. It's important for pranayama and for meditation to be comfortable. And you want a straight spine. Close your eyes. If you're seated, surrender your chin just slightly towards your chest. Breathe in and out through your nose. Let's begin with a short round of belly breaths. Breathing in and out through your nose. On your next inhale, slow it down. Deepen and lengthen your inhale and have the intention to breathe right into your belly. Puff your belly up, not using abdominal muscles, but rather your breath. And then make your exhale just as long, slow, smooth, and complete. Inhale. Breathe right into your belly. If your normal inhale is one to two seconds, like most people, slow it down to three or four, maybe even five seconds. And make your exhale just as slow, smooth, and complete. No breath is going into your belly, it's going into your lungs. The bottom of your lungs are attached to the respiratory diaphragm. Breathe right into the bottom of your lungs. And just focus on your body filling with breath and then releasing the breath. This is your practice. If you have a personal trainer or a psychologist or a physical therapist, they call this deep diaphragmic breathing. Same thing, except in yoga, we've been doing it for a thousand years longer than they have. But the same effects. Long, deep, slow, mindful belly breaths.
at the end of your next round. Release your practice and allow your breath to return to natural. We're now going to do you know, what I call it, it's a Zen-like insight meditation, offering some insight as to where you are, precisely where you are in this moment. Close your eyes, breathe in and out naturally through your nose. Please visualize in your mind your right foot. You know what your right foot looks like. See your right foot very clearly in your mind. And then once you see it, a vivid image of your right foot in your mind, then go to your right foot, connect, and witness what's going on with your right foot right now. Don't judge, don't change anything. Don't see your right foot as it usually is or as you like it to be. See it as it is right now in this moment. Visualize it in your mind and just notice, is your right foot hot, cold, tight, tense, hard, numb, itchy, painful? Anything? Then visualize in your mind your right ankle. Once you see your right ankle in your mind, then go there. You don't have to stay long. But do see it as it is right now. Then go to your right shin, then your right calf, your right knee, your right thigh, your right hip, your right glute. Go up the left side, go through your entire body, one body part at a time. And by first visualizing that body part in your mind, you'll not only see a truer, clearer picture of yourself as you exist in this moment, you'll also begin to make a very deep, very strong mind-body connection. Take your time, go through each body part one at a time. Now bring your awareness to your belly. Just watch your belly rise and fall. Whether you're seated or supine, as you inhale, your belly lifts. As you exhale, your belly falls. By watching this movement, you're watching your breath without changing it, altering it, controlling it, moving it towards some perceived ideal, take a moment to witness your natural breath. Don't judge it or change it. Just see how you're breathing right now. Your breath changes throughout the day. How are you breathing now? Fast or slow? Deep or shallow? Smooth? rough. If you have a pause or hesitation in your natural breath, is it more pronounced today or hardly noticeable? Witness and connect to your natural breath. 
it won't be the same at the end of the practice. Shift your awareness to your heart and become aware of any and all emotions that are present right now in this moment. And if you don't think you're feeling anything emotionally, please take a closer look. You are. Emotions don't need to be big and dramatic feelings. You want to notice anything at all, no matter how slight. Don't judge it. Don't try to change it. It's okay if you're a little sad today. It's okay if you're a little bored. But it's very important to be aware of that. Be aware that these emotions are present in your heart. Because more than anything else in your life, what you carry in your heart influences your perception of yourself, others, and the world around you. A wise Zen master once said, to know and understand others is wisdom. To know and understand yourself is enlightenment. Now please shift your awareness to the space between the eyebrows and completely detach from your thoughts. Witness the workings of your mind. See where your head is at in this moment. You have to detach from your thoughts. You are not your thoughts. You have to step outside of the thinking mind, go to a higher consciousness. If you're not a regular meditator, Perhaps just pretend there's another you standing up, looking down at you on the mat, and that you that's standing up can see what's going on in your, on the mat, in your head. Just notice, where's your head at today? Is your mind busy or still? Scattered or very focused? Is there a voice in your head telling you things? Are you having flashbacks, something that happened earlier today or yesterday that just keeps resurfacing in your mind, trying to pull you away from the present moment to relive the past? Don't get angry at your mind. Don't try to muscle up with your mind and make it do what you want. That doesn't work any more than trying to muscle up with your body and get into a yoga pose that your body's not ready for. The secret is detaching. Detach from your mind and witness what it's doing. By detaching and witnessing, you take ownership of your thoughts. You own your thoughts. Your thoughts can no longer own you.
but to begin a round of breadth ratio work. Counting silently to yourself and breathing in and out through your nostrils. On your next inhale, inhale for a count of four. Fill your lungs completely and then pause Kumbhaka for a count of two. Be very still. And then exhale for a full count of four. Even if you think your lungs are empty after two or three, keep exhaling. Pull your belly in a little to press out the breath. And then with no breath in your lungs, pause for a count of two before you take your next inhale. Four, two, four, two. Inhale for four. Pause for two. Exhale for four. Pause for two. Be very still. And you may wish to direct your inner gaze to the space directly between the eyebrows, right where your nose disappears into your forehead. As this may offer some insight into your practice. At the end of your next round, see if you can slow your inhale down and go to 6-3-6-3. Six, three, six, three. Inhale for a count of six. Pause for three. Exhale for a count of six. Pause for three. You're inhaling and exhaling the same amount of breath. Fill your lungs completely. Empty your lungs completely. It's a little longer pause. Six, three, six, three. If you're not ready for this, if it makes you uncomfortable in any way whatsoever, shortness of breath, anxious, go back to four, two, four, two. It's the same ratio. But see if you can slow things down. Go to six, three, six, three. Hold a steady gaze on the sixth chakra, the space between the eyebrows. It's the home of human intuition. It's a direct path to your highest consciousness, the deepest recesses of your mind. And it's your connection to the cosmic highway. Six, three, six, three. At the end of your next round, see if you can slow it down even more. Go to eight four eight four. It's all about slowing everything down. A little longer pause. You're inhaling the same amount of breath. Inhale for eight. Pause for four. Exhale for eight. Pause for four. This 
isn't accessible to you today, stay with 6363 or 4242. Be very still, especially during the Kumbhaka. Hold a steady gaze on the space between the eyebrows. At the end of your next round, release your practice, allow your breath to return to natural. No longer shaping or controlling your breath. begin a round of prana shuddhi. Mental alternate nostril breathing. If you're familiar with Nadi Shadhana, where you close off one side of your nostrils, one side of your nose, you breathe through the other, and you close off the other and exhale out through that side. It's the same thing, except don't use your hands. Keep your hands at your side or in the mudra of your choice. If you're seated, make sure your chin is just slightly lowered towards your chest. Close your eyes. And on your next inhale, inhale through the left nostril only. Fill your lungs, and then exhale through the right nostril only. Inhale through the right nostril, fill your lungs, and then exhale out the left nostril. Since you're not using your hands and closing off, a slight, very small amount of breath will enter or exit through the wrong side. But most of your breath will follow your intention if you focus. Mental alternate nostril breathing. Breathe in through the left. Take your time. Exhale completely out the right nostril, back in through the right, out through the left.
Take your last full inhale through your right nostril and then go ahead and exhale through both nostrils, inhale through both nostrils. The left and the right hemisphere of your mind are now in equilibrium and balanced. Breathing through your nose. On your next inhale, take a big, deep, full inhale. Fill your lungs completely for a count of three. And then exhale completely for approximately a count of three. Big, strong, active inhale. Fill your lungs completely. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and then exhale. Inhale and exhale are the same length. Smooth, deep, full. On your next inhale, same thing. Strong, active inhale. Fill your lungs completely. But as you exhale, slow it down. Cling to your breath. Just barely allow it to escape. Try to exhale and keep exhaling for a count of six. Inhale for three. Fill your lungs, strong, active, inhale. And then as you exhale, a very passive, draining exhale. Just barely allow the breath to escape your body. Stay with this. Inhale for three, exhale for six. If it's more comfortable, inhale for four, exhale for eight, Try to make your exhale twice as long as the inhale. Same amount of breath leaves your body as empty, enters your body. You fill your lungs completely, you empty them completely. Strong, active, inhale, passive, draining, exhale. Lengthening the exhale draws you deeper inward. Towards your truest self. At the end of your next round, allow your breath to turn to natural. Don't control it. Don't shape it. Just let your body breathe. Your body's in control, not your mind. Your body will take your breath wherever it needs to be in this moment. Namaste.
Thank you for joining us today. Have a great weekend.